Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another transfer daily. Now, Freddy did a preview for the Bournemouth game yesterday, so if you haven't watched it, go over and watch it. Comment your score predictions, and I think we can all safely say that this Villa meltdown on Twitter is absolutely phenomenal. Some of the messages and tweets what are going around are absolutely hilarious. Now, the first bit of transfer news, well, the first bit of news, should I say, is... Apparently West Brom uh, are going to be offering Sam Johnston a new contract and he's willing to accept it. Now this is the level of professionalism that we could have expected from Pereira but unfortunately we haven't seemed to got it, have got it. Um, I'd be delighted if Sam Johnston signs another deal. Apparently there's going to be some sort of release clause on there so he doesn't go for free. Um, I think Albion's biggest problem... Um, is they don't want to see Sam Johnston go for nothing next year. Um, apparently, Sam Johnston's came back off holiday early, early, just so we can train with the first team squad. Now, I just want to say, well done, Sam Johnston. You know, you don't see this in football very often anymore. Um, a bit of loyalty to the club. Um, he's obviously got a contract still, and he's respecting it. Something what Pereira should have done, but failed to do so. Um, but yeah, so big appreciation to Sam Johnston. He remains professional and loyal to the club at the minute. Even if he does move on, I'll wish him all the best because I think he's done it in the correct manner. Um, he's done it in the correct way, in my opinion. Pereira hasn't. Um, Johnston stayed loyal to the club. He's stayed um, respectful to the club. And I will appreciate that even if he does leave... Um, to a new club and you know it's nice to see in football you don't really get that very often now the next bit of news is regarding Mateus Pereira our, our main man um, now it's looking from reports on Twitter I'm not sure how true they are it's looking increasingly likely that he could be joining Al Halal um, in the Saudi Arabian League um, for a fee around I've heard around 17 and a half million and apparently it's going to be paid over two instalments. I'm not sure what I make of this one, guys. Um, I think he's ruined it, wasted his career. I understand that anyone would probably, you know, obviously people work, don't they? And if they get offered more money, they're going to leave. But the money what Pereira is being offered is believed to be around £139,000 a week, which is life-changing to him and his family and he's stated that in his in his statement what he came out and uh, released um he, he stated that it's life-changing money he stated that a club approached him which was a breach of his contract because you know you can't approach a player until the club has actually agreed a fee or and stuff like that you you just simply can't do it but i'm hearing that Mateus Pereira did that um you know, which is unprofessional in my opinion. He goes, he bangs on about being disrespected by Ishmael. But in my opinion, Ishmael has done absolutely nothing wrong. He's come out and said the player's not committed. Pereira's contradicted himself in his statement. You know, he says he remains committed to the club, but he, he isn't. If you want to leave, you're not committed, are you? So, load of bullshit in my opinion. Um, just wants to go for money and it's a shame because he is a real talent. I appreciate everything what Mateus has done for us over the past couple of seasons. I appreciate that he wants to leave, but he could have gone about it in a better, more respectful way, the same way Sam Johnston has. Um, and it's a bit disappointing in my opinion. You know, everyone absolutely loved Mateus Pereira, but people have seemed to be uh, turning against him now. We've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter. Um, people turning against Mateus Pereira my opinion, I'm just going to wish him the best. I'm not going to start slating him. You know, he's done a lot for us over the past two seasons. He was always going to, going to leave. What I don't appreciate is how he's disrespected the club. You know, Ishmael has come out and said no player is bigger than West Brom. And I absolutely agree with him. I think Ishmael, like I say, has done all the right things. And I respect the manager a lot already. I think, you know, he's a great manager. He's very well spoken. And good riddance to Matos Pereira if that's where he wants to go. If he wants to waste his talent in 
that league, then so be it. But what can we do about it? Now, the next bit of news is regarding Tom Lawrence from Derby. Um, apparently, if we sell Mateus Pereira, we're going to go in for Tom Lawrence from Derby. Now, in my opinion, I don't think we need him. We've just signed Adam Reach. You know, we don't need another winger, in my opinion. Um, just a waste of a transfer, in my opinion. I think what we do need is a striker. And Joe Massey has come out on Twitter and said that the club are still in the market for a striker. See, the thing is, Mateus Pereira's sale could ignite our transfer activity. Now, I have said that in the last video. Um, I understand that we're not going to go in for loads of players, but I understand that one one position that Albion do want to strengthen, strengthen is their striking options. Now, we've got Carlin Grant, we've got Robinson... We've got Tulloch. We've got a lot of talented strikers, in my opinion. We've even got Zahor. Um, who knows, it could be a make-or-break season for him. Um, but we have got a lot of options up front. But I wouldn't mind seeing another striker come in. Um, Clark Harris would probably be my uh, pick, if I could pick who, who we was going to go in for. But that was today's Transfer Daily. If you did enjoy today's video... Uh, don't forget to like, comment your thoughts and we'll see you in the next one.